I'm doing that next. They've started cooking. Looks like Anders is frying up his potatoes. Another cameraman in our way, taking pictures. Oh, I wish I could get that angle. I enjoy it. Yeah, I probably want to get it. <laughs> you, you know what does Jen have? I can't see. Chef I was distracted Paul. by the cameraman. Just, chef Paul is just amazing, you know? Yeah, Chef Paul is Everything amazing. Everything he does and says is just perfect. Are you saying that because you think you might see this? <laughs> yes. Well, yeah, Chef Paul is super amazing. I still love Chef Brian. He's Huggy Bear. He's Huggy Bear. Uh, well, I still have to do Barmer J baking. I'm going to do it in this order of... Uh, And there's some baking next because I'm working with this pastry chef. No baking pastry background. So they're having to show me every mission, every technique. Right. They got some more. They're very patient. How many minutes have passed? Does anybody know? No. No. Like, like, no, they need to do like um, Iron Chef and announce the times every once in a while. Announce like, it after like, sucking up his whole Like, thing. in that sexy girl voice, 15 minutes have elapsed. And then Alton Brown interrupts and makes you forget about the voice. Well, actually, you know the chemical byproduct of... Uh, blah. Although I like him, he's awesome. I like him, but he's, a, he's pretty obnoxious on that show. I think he's supposed to be. Probably. Kui-san. Alton, Alton Brown. Kui-san. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anders should write a book. Whisk, Jen, whisk, yeah! Alright, Jess, we have 10 minutes left for the competition. 10 more minutes left. Woo! Halfway downhill, folks. Ten more minutes. We support you. Ten more minutes, folks. whisking, 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 whisking. I think he's trying to emulsify something, but I can't tell from here. Plus, it's bright and the sun is in my eyes. What does Andres have? I can't even tell. Is that an artichoke? Or potato? I can't tell. He had a bunch of potatoes out, but I think he um, sliced those. And now they're frying. I'm looking at all the other teams. None has organized and well thought out as Team Chanders. The Cow Club on the wrong side of the table. Is there a wrong side, Danny? Yes. That side. The wrong side is in your mind. No. The prawn is in no. your mind. This is not the Matrix. The prawn is in your mind. Uh oh. Someone's already sauteing. Flipping. Perry. Yeah, those two guys are They're just taking their sweet. But that might mean they're going to underdo it, you know? Hopefully they remember their presentation. Oh yeah, Anders is there. But he doesn't have a half hour. I think you don't have to wear a hat if you're good enough. <laughs> you, you watch every cooking show ever, no one wears a hat. Who's there and actually serving them? I know. The plasticizing but, but like, um, in the window at Japanese. No, restaurant. but like um, Iron Chef and things where people do eat it. Competi I've never seen a competition where people wear hats. Well, I don't think one of the judges on Iron Chef is going to sue. Well, yeah. They probably have to sign a disclaimer. 
Oh, the chef that good. Uh, top chef, top chef either. They, they serve like hundreds of people sometimes. Top chef, yeah. 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 <laughs> the, hair, the, hair. the secret ingredient is hair. Is <laughs> wool. Lauren, you and I shouldn't have to shouldn't have to wear hats. Thank God, we have like no hair. <laughs> trying to call me on Anders. No, I said, do you have no hair? <laughs> that wasn't what? That wasn't a fat joke. A what? A beverage? Probably on that side of the fence. But this is this side of the fence. I should have brought some soda or water or something. I carry it of water. Chin and Anders coming together. Team Chandra's getting prepared. Chin whisking again. He is the wonder whisker, Chin. And Anders, the chopping champion. Team Chanders go. Get it done. They're having a strategy meeting in the midst of their cooking. What could they be saying? I don't know. I can't, not close enough. And there's wind. And for some reason, someone's turned on music, which is just stupid. Someone just spilled hot oil near Anders. If he had only been there a moment ago, he'd be burned horribly. It was that guy. Just to be clear, for the record, it was that guy. It just missed Anders. I see salt. I see ingredients. I see hard work. That's make a real the duck. What you do is you make the duck eat the crab, and then you kill it, and then you cook it with the crab in it. Yeah. And then to serve, you slice it with stomach open. All right, chefs. We have five more minutes left. Five minutes. Five minutes. Go, Chad. Go, Anders. Chanders. We love you. Five more minutes for the chef. Chanders, Chanders, you're our man. You're like a robot, two and one. <laughs> Keep working on it, Lauren. You almost had it. You almost had it. Chanders, All I came up with is, let's go, Chanders. Let's go, Clap Clap. Don't make fries. <laughs> what if they make crab fries? Somehow. I'm not saying I know how to do it. I'm just saying somehow. Avocado fries. I don't know. You could fry anything. Avocado cooked is just a bad situation. Not if you like That's it. like one of the only foods I can imagine cooking it would what really mess. What if you did in like a batter and deep fried it? Avocado deep. Well, they do a lumpia in my work that has avocado in it, but I don't think it gets cooked very much. No. Oh. And I'm not, I don't mean like a whole avocado. I mean like strips or something. Oh, I know. I'd like mix it in like a paste and then ball it up and then batter it and deep fry it. Yeah. That might work. Might hold together then. Oh, Chen tasting his food. How irresponsible. Not enough for the judges now. Cleaning his hands, practicing good sanitation. Chef Brian taught him that, I'm sure. Unless he didn't. 